And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all. And with your spirit. As we gather here this morning as God's family with confidence, we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of His mercy and of His compassion. Lord, you came that we might have life and live it to its fullness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Oh God, who in the abasement of your Son has raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy for those on who you have rescued from slavery to sin. You bestow eternal lives. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning, Abraham saddled his donkey took with him his son Isaac and the two of his servants as well. And with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, he set out for the place of which God had told him. On the third day, Abraham got sight of the place from afar. Then he said to his servants, Both of you stay here with the donkey, while the boy and I go on over yonder. We will worship and then come back to you. Thereupon Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two walked on together, Isaac spoke to his Abraham, to his father Abraham. Father, he said, yes, son, he replied. Isaac continued, here are the fire and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering? Son, Abraham answered, God himself will provide the sheep for the burnt offering. Then the two continued going forward. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next, he tied up his son Isaac and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God, since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh. Hence people now say, On the mountain the Lord will see. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore. Your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies, and in your descendants shall all the nations of the earth shall find blessing. All this 
because you obeyed my command. Abraham then returned to his servants, and they set out together for Beersheba, where Abraham made his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is, I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your kindness, because of your truth, why should the pagan say, where is their God? I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of man. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. They have mouth, but speak not. They have eyes, but see not. They have ears, but hear not. They have noses, but smell not. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Their makers shall be like them, everyone who trusts in them. The house of Israel trusts in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. After entering the boat, Jesus made the crossing and he came into his own town. And there are people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw the faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to, them, to themselves, This man is blasphemed. And Jesus knew what they were thinking, and he said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven? or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. And when the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? The scribes and the Pharisees are concerned with the outward appearance, outward what we present to this world. The idea of rising and walking was convenient for them. But they thought the forgiveness of sin preparing for the inside was sinful. And Jesus is willing to heal the outside, but he's also willing to heal us on the inside. How often do we turn to our Lord for forgiveness? How often do we turn to each other for forgiveness? Are we signed to that forgiveness to one another? Most of us spend our time looking on the outside, but are we taking the time to look on the inside? And I invite you to stand. If we have the courage to make known our needs and our desires to our loving and compassionate Father. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. But then let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world. To end the war, terrorism, and racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray that we will have the courage to, to reconcile ourselves to one another and to our God. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all those entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who have died, those who will die today, and particularly those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And let's take a moment silently pray for our own intentions. And we pray for all our intentions, including the intentions of Mother Rabbi Lushan. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, we make known to you our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud, those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer. Through the earth, the work of humanity, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. Through the vine, the work of humanity, it will become our spiritual Blessed be God forever. And pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. And give them up to the Lord. That is good thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvage, always and everyone, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ. His death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming again in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fountains of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down their spirit upon them at the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and men and women went into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks for it. Gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of it, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of it and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in to the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed Joseph the spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom, as Jesus comes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from heaven. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give But not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever. And now. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take the way of the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the way of the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Let's go to talk to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. So we'll follow you on with
the body. The body. Amen. The body. 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 Amen. The body. The body. The body. And let us pray. Grant we pray, Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master this morning has come to us, and may we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day.